Hi everyone, welcome back to Legend Danny. Are you visiting Hong Kong and want to experience the real flavor of the city? Then you're in the right place. In a city famous for its vibrant food culture, these dishes are an absolute must try for every traveler. Every street corner holds a new flavor and every meal is an experience you'll never forget. Of course, Hong Kong offers more than just food, like these amazing fireworks on New Year's. But that's for another video on Hong Kong where I will reveal to you the secret to having such perfect frontal views on the fireworks. Let's get ready to dive in and let's explore Hong Kong's best bites. We start with Hong Kong's most iconic culinary experience, dim sum. I'll show you three different types of dim sum restaurants, each with their own specialty. The first restaurant is called Lin Heung, which is a rustic old school dim sum tea house where they still serve in the authentic way by using push cards. After you sit down at the table, you will be given one of these papers for stamping. The prices for each dish vary depending on the category. Bring your paper to the different trolleys and push cards with the different dishes and give the paper to the staff after ordering your food. They will stamp it accordingly to the dish category small, medium, big or special. You pay at the end of the meal by showing the stamped paper at the cashier. As you see, there is no English menu or translation available in this restaurant. Therefore, it's a fun challenge to experience this local way of enjoying dim sum. After collecting all your food, start by using the provided hot tea and bucket to clean your cutleries and cups. Must-have dishes are turnip radish cake called Lobak Go. For breakfast, many people love to have a hot bowl of congee with century egg called Pei Dan Juk. Another classic is a rice noodle roll called Cheung Fan with different fillings like shrimp or pork. Try out the different dumplings and fish balls, but do not forget to try the glutinous rice wrapped in lotus leaf called Lo Mai Gai. It is filled with chicken, Chinese mushrooms, sausage, scallions and more. Of course, never forget to eat the suma in any dim sum restaurant. If the previously shown restaurant seems too much of a challenge, don't worry, I have a great alternative restaurant for you to savor Hong Kong's dim sum without having to fight for your food at the trolleys. Sit down at this restaurant called Dim Sum Square, take a look at the menu and write down the quantity of each dish you would like to order and it will be served to your table like in usual western restaurants. Still, I promise the dim sum here is really delicious, maybe even my personal favorite. Also here, use the provider hot tea and bucket to clean your tableware as is custom in Hong Kong before eating. We decided to try the iconic shrimp dumplings called Ha Gao, again the radish cake, these special cheung funs with spring rolls wrapped inside and more, super good. Make sure to ask for chili sauce if you like it hot, they don't bring it without asking. I personally love to order some bao buns as well in any restaurant. Total bill was 246 Hong Kong dollar for two. I recommend to order roughly three to four dishes per person. A few days later, we even came back to try a few more dishes here, like their shrimp cheung fun and their crispy barbecue pork buns. Delicious. The third dim sum restaurant I'll show you is this one called Maxime's Palace at City Hall. When you get to the restaurant, on the right side, you will see the machine to get a queue number. It's the most expensive out of the three restaurants due to the nice and fancy looking restaurant with a great view over the harbor.
Also here you get a paper for stamping upon sitting down. This restaurant also follows the traditional way of serving dim sum by using cards, but it is more tourist friendly since the cards have English translations of the dishes. The plating of the dishes is beautiful, the environment is nice and clean, and the view is nice. However, I think the price point is a bit high and the food taste is pretty good, but nothing special. Enjoy it over tea with friends or family, dim sum is more than a meal. It's an experience, a chance to savor and share. So if you're in Hong Kong, make sure to pull up a seat, pour yourself some tea, and try a little of everything, because that's the true dim sum way. Next up, Hong Kong's famous roasted meats, an absolute must try. When it comes to unforgettable flavors, Hong Kong's roast goose is in a class of its own. Known for its perfectly crispy skin and juicy tender meat, this iconic dish has drawn food lovers from all around the world. We tried this michelin star restaurant called Cam's Roast Goose, and while having to wait up to 2 hours after getting a queue number, we squeezed in a gym session at the hotel while waiting. Each goose is seasoned with a unique blend of spices, stuffed and roasted to perfection. The result? Skin that's incredibly crispy and meat that's rich, juicy and packed with savory flavors. Often served with a side of tangy plum sauce, the combination of flavors is a must try for any food lover. You can also add on some nice char siu, tender smoky pork caramelized with a sweet glaze that's packed with umami. And in Hong Kong, roast goose isn't just a dish. It's a specialty perfected by generations of chefs who know how to balance that ideal crispness with juicy tender meat. Another Michelin star goose restaurant we tried was Yat Lok. The queue was also ridiculously long, but the food was obviously amazing too. If you're visiting Hong Kong, make sure to stop by one of these legendary roast goose restaurants. I recommend to definitely choose the goose leg to enjoy the full juiciness. But to be very honest, in Hong Kong, you can often try out any random goose or roast meat restaurants, like this one where the chef has been mastering the dishes over many many years. These non-Michelin star restaurants are as delicious and on a much lower price level. You will likely not be disappointed in most places. No visit to Hong Kong is complete without a bowl of wonton noodles. A comforting classic that's a perfect balance of flavors and textures. Simple yet rich. This dish has been loved for generations and it's easy to see why. Here at this restaurant, the wontons are delicate, handmade dumplings filled with fresh shrimp and each bite bursting with flavor. The shrimps are so bouncy and big. The noodles are thin, springy and perfectly cooked al dente. While the broth is light yet flavorful, simmered slowly to bring out a deep savory taste. It's a humble dish that gives you a taste of Hong Kong's heart and soul, one spoon at a time. They also have other delicious dishes here, which you should give a try. When it comes to comfort food in Hong Kong, this place Sisawa serves beef noodle bowls, which are so hearty as they combine a deep savory broth with super tender beef and perfectly cooked noodles. You can order it in a soup, or as a dry version where the soup comes separately. Only 200-300 meters away from Sisawa, you can find another amazing beef noodle place. Here, the beef was not as tender but I absolutely loved the Bai Tea beef balls. A must try indeed. The next iconic dish was supposed to be clay pot, but this super popular restaurant had a queue that would require another 2 hours of waiting again, so we didn't feel like it. 
Instead, we strolled down the streets and found a restaurant serving snake instead. It was supposedly mixed into the soup and we could not really taste anything special, just tasted a bit of chicken. But they had nice Chinese sausage over rice called Lap Cheung Fa. Next up, we visited a typical Cha Chang Tang tea restaurant or cafe type typical for Hong Kong. If you are craving a taste of Hong Kong's sweet side, you have to try two local bakery legends. The egg tart and the bolo bao, in English, pineapple bun. The egg tart has a buttery, flaky crust and a silky smooth custard filling that's just sweet enough. Then there's the bolo bao, which doesn't actually have pineapple, but gets its name from the crispy golden top that looks like one. It has a very nice, sweet, sugary crust. It's warm, freshly baked. I like it. Apart from these pastries, this cafe served other things like milk tea, toast, simple noodles and more. Continuing our search for great egg tarts, we tried them at Kiwa and here we were definitely not disappointed. They had the standard egg tart and the ginger egg white tart version. Ginger egg tarts. I've never had a ginger egg tart actually. It had a bit of lemon flavor or smell in the beginning. Last egg tart was found at this bakehouse, which had a special sourdough version. The sourdough egg tart is like a twist on the beloved Hong Kong classic. This fusion of sourdough and custard offers the best of both worlds. Sourdough egg tart, definitely a different texture to the crust. The texture has like a bread-ish kind of um, bite to it. To finish our video today, we randomly found this cafe which offers the best pastry in the world. They sold it as Matcha Mochi Danish and a trip to Hong Kong is already worth it just to try this perfection. Yep, not very typical Hong Kong but it was super delicious. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again next time.